predicting azimuth of sunrise and sunset on the June solstice, flat Earth versus globe Earth. So there's a couple steps to figuring out the shape of the Earth. One of them is to step outside, followed by making careful observations and measurements, and then you perform an analysis. You can use uh, Euclidean geometry plus a little bit of trig. And I just want to say a few words about prediction, especially making a hard prediction. So if somebody is able to make a prediction, a successful prediction, um, versus somebody else not being able to, isn't it possible that the person who's able to make the successful prediction knows a bit of what's going on, what's really going on? So let's take a passionate Glober and a passionate Flat Earth fellow. Ask them both to predict where the sun will rise, the azimuth of sunrise on the date of the June solstice. What would each of them say? So I took on this challenge and I used the best estimate of a flat earth map, which is Gleason's AE. I know that some people are like, oh, that's not the real map. Well, you know, you're welcome to do this geometric analysis using whatever map you want. Uh, I use the Gleason's AE because, you know, it's it's popular. It's used by 99% of flat earth folks. Um, and I also use a perfect sphere to stand in for the globe. And then I used a uh, geometry plus a bit of trig. And again, you're welcome to do the same. You're, you're welcome to take a look at every step of my analysis and, and try your own thing. So next thing is um, armchair exploring versus field studies. Now it's, it's best to get outside and make measurements yourself. However, that is not always optimal. Not everybody has favorable skies or clear horizons. Like uh, me in Pennsylvania today on the solstice, uh, it was overclassed and, and cloudy. And I'm in an area of Pennsylvania where, you know, it's lots of trees and hills, and uh, I really don't have a, a great view of um, of sunrise. Um, so so maybe you could do a little bit of internet sleuthing to find the time of sunrise and sunset, and then maybe even looking up azimuths uh, to see if the predictions come true. So the other thing is uh, June solstice. It doesn't have to be exactly June 21st or so. Um, the solstice season, I'm calling it, is about two weeks long, meaning the, the sun is pretty, pretty close to where it is exactly on the solstice, um, you know, maybe a couple arc minutes off. On solstice season, uh, here's a table, and this is a, a average values over the four years. Um, but basically, the, the June solstice in, in 2023 is... Uh, is June 21st. Uh, so let's uh, let's zoom in a little bit. And what we see here is that the June 20 June 21st um, and and then June 20th and then June 22nd 23rd. Yeah, they're all you know the same arc minute. And then even a week prior and then a week later is just 10 arc minutes off. That's one sixth of a degree. So you get you'll get pretty good results if you go you know within a week or so of the uh, of the solstice. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to focus in on, on my little playlist here. Uh, I've got a bunch of videos on the June solstice, uh, even one including making moon observations on the June solstice. Um, but I, I want to focus in on today on, on the azimuth of sunrise and sunset. And this is an area where this is, you know, 100% uh, my work. I didn't copy anything from anybody. The, the, Calculations and the formulas are all homegrown. And again, you're, you're welcome to try this out yourself. So what I want to emphasize is that on the June solstice, um, both Globers and Flat Earthers say that the sun is above the Tropic of Cancer. Now, uh, Globers say that's because the tilt of the Earth is 23.4 degrees tilted towards the, the sun, and that's why the sun is above the Tropic of Cancer. Flat Earthers just simply say the, the sun is simply orbiting the North Pole. And it just happens to be above the Tropic of Cancer, which is 23.4 uh, degrees ab above the equator. On the Flat Earth model, we say that the sun is doing a full circle, a 24-hour circle above the Tropic of Cancer. Okay, So if you know your time of sunrise and sunset, you can do a little bit of math, and then you could figure out exactly how much of that a uh, 360 degree circle is is sunshine and then ultimately where is sunrise and where is sunset so for example this is an uh, example in philly um you know with with a certain sample of sunrise and sunset then basically the sun is in the sky for 225 degrees and that will help us get an azimuth if we do a little bit of a triangle a little bit of trig then we may be able to figure out that in philadelphia uh, where the actual sunrise is. So it turns out that we get 
uh, from Philadelphia, a 39 degree estimate for this for the sunrise and then a 321 degree sunset azimuth. OK, and that's just using, you know, basic, basic trig, basic geometry on the globe. On the other hand, uh, the <laughs> calculations are a little bit more complicated. Um, again, the the analysis actually starts with a little guy standing on a little flat piece of Earth. Uh, so it's like it's a little flat Earth model. Uh, but the but the sun is actually doing circles around around him. So if we perform a little bit of an as um, an analysis, a uh, little bit of trig. So we've got our we've got our uh, June solstice, and so just a little bit of trig, a little bit of trig, a little bit more trig, blah blah blah, do 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 do, do, do. and then finally we have our prediction for Philadelphia. Um, down here on the bottom, it's a 59 degree uh, prediction versus a 301 degree uh, sunset. So sunrise azimuth and sunset azimuth. And that's all based on my globe earth analysis. And again, uh, the, the entire procedure is, is detailed in that 28 minute video that I mentioned. So what I would like to do now is I would like to walk us through uh, using this, uh, this calculator. And I figured we would start with say London so let me go to time and date. And really the, the most important thing is to start with uh, sunrise and sunset. All right, so we're going to type in London and we and, and today's date is the is June, June 21st. So that's that's the sunrise and sunset that I'm interested in. And uh, let's move this over. We've got sunrise and sunset. OK. Oh, and I forgot to get the um, the latitude of well, first off, let's let's copy our sunrise and sunset. OK, and again, PM AM, AM is assumed for the for the sunrise and PM is assumed. And now let's uh, figure out the. Um, latitude. Oh, you know what? It does have the latitude right here. Fifty one degrees, 30 minutes north. So in my spreadsheet, you can in, input a decimal latitude or minute degrees, minutes and seconds. So I am going to do. Uh, 51 degrees, 30 minutes. Okay. And then it'll do, it'll do the calculation. You see right here, uh, latitude as a decimal, it's already calculated that for us. All right. So having put all that in, uh, we now have some uh, predictions. Um, the prediction is that on the globe earth, uh, the sunrise should be at 50 degrees northeast. Uh, sunset would be at 310 degrees northwest, but on the flat Earth ma map, it would be 36 degrees northeast and 324 degrees northwest. So let's see what uh, SunCalc says. Now, again, the, the best thing is for you to actually do this on your own, but let's let's put in London. And then let's compare the sunrise and the sunset. So with uh, SunCalc, if you just simply click on the button for sunrise, it automatically takes you to that azimuth. So clicking on sunrise gives us an azimuth of 48.79. So we'll say that's a uh, 49 degree azimuth. And my prediction was that sunrise would be either at a 50 degree azimuth or at a 36 degree azimuth, depending on if you're using a globe or a flat earth. Let's do the same thing with sunset. Again, clicking on the time, click. Uh, it predicts that, or it shows that we are going to have a 311 degree azimuth uh, sunset in uh, London on the solstice. So 311 degree. And what was my prediction? Globe Earth prediction was 310 northwest, or flat Earth was a 320, 324 degree uh, azimuth. So let's try a couple more cities. Why don't we try, uh, let's start with, in the Southern Hemisphere, why don't we? All right, let's do Southern Hemisphere and let's type in Sydney. Sydney, Australia, New South Wales. So my latitude is 33 degrees, 52 minutes south. So let's do 33. 52 and I have to t uh, put in south south latitude and my sunrise is 7 a.m. My sunset is 453. 
Okay, that's all I need for the calculator. So let's uh, let's compare to see what SunCalc says. Let's type in Sydney. And let's see how our how our prediction matched up. So again, clicking on sunrise gives us the azimuth, an azimuth of 62 degrees for sunrise. And we had predicted sunrise would be either 61 on a globe or 31 on a flat earth. And let's click on sunset. And that predicts an azimuth of 297.95. So we'll say 298. 298 is our prediction um, versus 299 and 329. Okay, so you can kind of see which which is more accurate. And then let's do one more. Let's do one more city. Let's do uh, Phuket. Phuket, Thailand. Okay, so again, let's move this over so that I can get the latitude, longitude, and the sunrise, sunset. Okay, so it's uh, Phuket is at 7 degrees 53 minutes north. 7, whoops, 7 degrees 53 minutes north latitude. And sunrise, it says, was at 6.10 a.m. 6.10 Sunset was at 6.45 p.m. And again, I don't have to type a.m. or p.m. A.m. is assumed or p.m. And that's all I need to do there. And so now let's take a look at SunCalc and see what the, um, what the real world shows us. All right, Phuket, Thailand. Oops, well, it gives us... Phuket International Airport. So I'm going to click on sunrise, and that gives us an azimuth of 66.17, whereas my prediction was 66 on the globe or 37 on the flat earth. And now let's click on the sunset. And that is an azimuth of 293.83, so we'll say 294, an azimuth of 294 in the real world. And my prediction was 294 versus 323, globe earth versus flat earth. Well, I hope you enjoy playing with that calculator on your own. I'm going to have a link in the description. And if you enjoy this content, uh, please leave a like and uh, give me a share, share with your friends, and please be kind in the comments. Bye.